Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So, today I have a very nice contraption behind me, built just for you and it's a coin to diamond and diamond to coin exchange. What do you do with that, you may ask yourself and the, the answer, the short answer is, if you run your casino empire you have to use, in some times, you have to use your own currency. Basically an economy within the Minecraft universe and yeah, you will need your own currency for that and for this sake I introduce to you this coin to diamond exchange machine. And as you already saw in the tutorial, if I put in here one diamond, it will get me two coins. And if I put in here one, nothing will happen. But if I put in the second one, I will get a diamond back. So that's basically the conversion. And many, many thanks to a viewer. And his name is Tristan. And he said, you've been doing a hell lot of casino gambling machines. But for a casino generally, there's a special coin that people need to exchange like an economy in it. So could you do machines to obtain coins and exchange coins for objects back or the initial money? I hope you understand what I mean. So you basically want to build me a conversion system and I came up with a pretty simple, pretty compact version. I built three different ones here as you can see. And first of all I want to explain it to you, so the first part of this video will be structured as always into the explanatory part, whereas the second part will be the building part, so we will build this together. And yeah, what I want to start with is, I now demonstrated it to you, this is a 2 to 1 ratio, or if you in the coin one, it's one diamond for two coins, but I also built one that is 1 to 1, so coins and diamonds are completely equal, so that will result in one coin and this coin can be put into a diamond back again. So there are different conversion ratios but I chose to do only one to two and one to one ratios here. And what is also very important, if you do that, nobody should be able to fake your currency and that's why you have to name your coins in a special way. Um, grab yourself for example, um, I guess it's called the Unicode, um, just google it and you can find hundreds of like few hundred symbols, few thousand I guess, or even of them, and copy very distinct ones in here. This is much too easy to fake. This coin here with only these hexagons, uh, six of them, so it's super easy to find this Unicode and get it to work. But for example, if you use other symbols like different languages or whatever, you they will result in this kind of, yeah, what is it, it's rectangles. And if you do the rectangles, um, it's much harder to fake it and just use different, di different, um, symbols of Unicode and you will make a very safe currency out of it. So make sure to really name those as complicated as possible and then maybe put coin or something in the middle so nobody can fake it. Um, next up is uh, we also need fillers. The fillers have to be also very uh, secretive of what is written on them so you have you cannot show them to anyone otherwise they could uh, totally mess up your casino. Since if I look into the dropper, we have here the coins and here all of them are fillers. So if anyone knows your filler item and the name of it, it can, he, he or she can throw it in there and simply uh, yeah, mess with your casino, uh, with your coin exchange, sorry. So um, yeah, how does it work? For the one to one ratio, I will do that one first since it's a little bit easier to explain. So we put in here one diamond. Oh, of course, this is the coin section and we get a diamond. So how does it work? We have here a simple item filter with two items in here. Five of these filler items in each other slot so you can't put anything else there except coins. And you can only put in 62 at once, then you have to wait a little bit. Um, then there will be this uh, redstone line powered, this clock will be turned on firing exactly this in the same, um, the same speed as hopper transfer items. And then they simply power this dropper here that shoots up items. Same goes for the other side. Um, I made a very nice mechanism that if you put in the coins, they will automatically get transferred to the coin dropper. And if you put in here diamonds on this side, they will automatically get transferred to the diamond hopper. So you don't have to like refill all the time. If I put in a coin here, oh, if I put in a diamond here, it will get automatically transferred to this diamond uh, dropper down there and if I put in a coin here it will get automatically transferred back into this hopper here. And I can show it to you very effectively by using this one. This one is completely full, that's for a different reason, I will come to later. But it's also completely fine to simply have three stacks of diamonds for example in here, three stacks of coins in there. And if I put in uh, like 15 diamonds in there, 
I will get 15 coins there and all the diamonds will be transferred into the dropper here. So it's a self refilling system and yeah it starts it stops at 14 and that's because one diamond is always stuck here. So the next time we do it it's completely fine. And if I want to exchange it back 26 ah I always f fell for this fall for the same trap. I want diamonds. I have to go to the blue one. That should be 26 now. Let's try that. Yes, so 26 diamonds. And those coins are now in this uh, dropper here. Yeah, that's basically how it works. And if you have any excess, it will be stored in these chests here. I can give you a short view in these chests here. And what happens, for example, if one chest is full, so somebody ch chooses to like put all his diamonds he owned in like one year and completely fill up your system here. So all the diamonds will fill up at some point. As you can see here, they will fill up, they will fill up, they will fill up, they will fill up. And at some point, now this was the point, at some point when this chest here gets too full, a piston will uh, block it so you cannot put any more diamonds in. And you as a casino owner know now, hey, oh, this um, gold block is now sticking out. I have to ex basically empty this chest here, I empty it and the piston retracts again. So I'm completely safe again. And how does it work? We have here a simple comparator line which is set to subtraction mode. And we have here another comparator and it compares it simply to a slightly not full item hopper. 32 items are missing so if this chest is getting nearly full it will simply depower this torch, power the torch and power this piston here. So now you know everything about this coin exchange with the 1 to 1 ratio and the neat thing about the 1 to 1 ratio is it's completely tileable so it's stackable. It's 1 to 3, 3 blocks wide each slot and they're intersecting so you could for example have um, another coin slot here, another diamond slot, coin slot, diamond slot, coin slot every two blocks. So it's two blocks then the slot, two blocks then the slot. So you can completely stack those, make an whatever amount you want for these exchange machines. Uh, with the two to one system that's not that simple. There, uh, um, the dividing wall between the slots will be a little bit bigger since we have a little bit red more redstone going on. Everything is basically the same except for one thing. We have here the clocks and we power this uh, coin dropper once and we want to power it a second time. So we have here this repeater and powering a second time. So we get double the amount of coins. So if we put in 16 items here, we can see that these ones are alternating as you can see here. They're completely alternating. So we get twice the amount of coins. So 32 for 16 diamonds. and. Also on the other side we have here this monostable circuit which is unfortunately not possible in bedrock, it's only possible in Java. And if we put in here 32 coins, only every second one as you can see here, it's moving forth and back every time a coin is uh, basically transferred into a hopper, but only every second time this comparator is activated. And that leaves us with 16 uh, diamonds in the end. So uh, I guess for the explanatory part that's all I wanted to say. Next up we will go to the building part. The footprint of this platform or this machine is rather small. We only the 8x5 platform and 5 is only necessary to give yourself a good overview and give yourself some space. You could also divide those up with some glass blocks that nobody can interfere with other players or stuff like this. But we will simply start now and we want to start by simply going over one like this and then go one, two, three, four. We will first build the frame like this. So it's eight by five and this frame is four by eight. And we have two, then one space, another two blocks, one space, another two blocks like this. Then we will grab ourselves some smooth stairs and we will replace those with uh, those blocks with smooth stairs and beneath those smooth stairs we will place double chests and then two hoppers facing sideways again two hoppers facing sideways. To decorate everything a little bit we will get ourselves some birch trap doors put them there and then we want to grab ourselves some uh, yellow stained glass and some blue stained glass. We will go with some droppers here simply build up like this go with blue here for diamonds and again this side 
in yellow. So next up we want to use some uh, light blue wool and also a lot of those redstone components like this and we want to make sure to place two blocks like that two blocks down like this two blocks in this direction and one block there this shape should be the end or the end result then a repeater two pieces of redstone comparators and um, redstone torches and remove those two blocks we can also remove the excess droppers so next up we can already start to put in here the gold blocks here the diamond blocks and also the pistons that will show us if a slot is full or if a chest is full or not so then the next thing we want to do is fill in the droppers so we have here or we get some frames first we have here the item frames and we have um, on one side we have diamonds on this side we have coins for the coins we need to put in diamonds so two diamonds in the first slot then one two three four five and if i put in the third one you can see it's already going down to two that's what we want same goes for this side two coins one two three four five if i put in the third one it should go down to two again Great, uh, then you can here have also some signs that uh, mark the conversion ratio, which is 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. And from here on, we grab ourselves some red wool and we go 1, 2, 3. We have now comparator, redstone repeater, redstone dust. Go down like this and then punch out the space like that. One, two, three, four, five. And after five, we put in this redstone comparator, redstone repeater, four pieces of redstone here. And then we simply put in a redstone like that. And we're already finished with the first part. And now we're able to uh, put in those diamonds. So if I would now put in, for example, like seven diamonds. Ah, I always fall for the same. Seven coins. You heard it click in seven times, so we can already put in here some diamonds and here are some coins. Next up we want to repeat the building process over here. Three blocks like this, like this and then a two by three area ending up in this shape. So like that. Repeater and comparator. Great. Um, that's basically it. Um, now we can already put in the currency. So again, let's try one, two. Oh, that was 32. Okay, that was a little bit much. I will remove some of those. But it should go down to two. That's the, basically the aim. And if I put in here, for example, I don't know, like three diamonds, three coins. So now everything is working. The only thing left to do is now wire everything up with the hoppers. So here we will have some gold some coins and the coins should go into this dropper here so we will simply go one two three four like that and then we want to make sure that our diamonds will go into this dropper here and we go one two three four five six seven eight like this and to make everything like foolproof we have to put in some more blocks here at this side i guess it's a diamond side yeah we have to put in a the three by three area around the dropper should be covered uh, in blocks so no items can glitch there that's why we put in here two glass blocks and here four glass blocks so um, this works now next thing we want to do is add this magenta circuits here and we want to read the output of those chests and go like this until here so it's one two three four five and then one up we have comparators all the way, all put to subtraction mode. And then we have a comparator running from the side, not set to subtraction mode. And here we simply place a hopper against those comparators, cover it with a composter so nobody can mess with it, and then put in um, everything fill them completely up except for the last slot there only should be half a stack so then we have the torches torch tower up another torch and then simply connect the pistons with redstone 
Great, so if these chests get too full, these pistons will block everyone interacting with the coin exchange. And that's not a one-to-one -one ratio. If we want to build a two-to-one ratio, um, we can already um, customize it. But the first thing we want to do is remove this hopper line here. Come in from this side. Go one, two. And come over like that. And then we want... Oh, sorry. It's one extra block like this. So, and then we need to power those blocks on top, like that. So we will put redstone here, here, and all the way over there. And here we want to place in a repeater set to two ticks. So now we have a two to one conversion ratio here. So if I put in one diamond, we should go to 50, um, should go to 50 of those coins. So now 524, nice. So that works. So we have the two to one conversion ratio now here. If you don't want it, simply remove the circuit we build now. And make sure that you are in Java if you want to build the other circuit because that doesn't work in reds, in uh, bedrock. So put in here three pieces of wool, three pieces of redstone, then a repeater, another repeater in between a piston with a block. And here another block, here another piston and a redstone block over there. Two hoppers facing into each other, a comparator reading the output of this dropper, a hopper, then uh, two pieces of redstone, here a stone sword, it should click once, and two composters on top. And now if we put in here coins, the first coin will do nothing, since it will depower this comparator, and the second coin will power it again and therefore releasing the diamond. So that's the 2 to 1 conversion ratio now. Uh, make sure that you build whatever you want. If you want a 1 to 1, simply remove the additional blocks that we added after everything worked. And if you want a 2 to 1 conversion ratio, make sure you're also in Java. So um, that leaves me with just one thing to say to this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, build tutorial. It was really f a lot of fun to build this machine. I completely built them from scratch. I was like, hey, how can I do it as simple as possible, as space efficient as possible, and as multiplayer uh, friendly as possible. And I guess I came out with a very nice solution to the problem. And make sure that if you want to see more of those nice videos, make sure to use some suggestions by yourself in the comment section. And also click that like button if you like the video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.